Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm at Far House, which is an absolutely superb holiday home, Sleeping 16 in Far, which is just down the Fort Augustus Road off the A9 on the way to Inverness or coming out of Inverness. If you've just stumbled across our channel, make sure you press the subscribe button. And if you want updated alerts, just press the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. I've just gone around the house. It's absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to take you in and show you what's so special about it. Okay, let's go. So as we come in the door, we're greeted by this amazing big entrance hallway. So I think because it's quite a big house, I'm just gonna get going. Where should we start? Well, we've come to the dining room, which is an enormous, big, bright, spacious room with a lovely big table going right down the middle. I think one of the really nice things about this dining room is the comfortable chairs. Sometimes you get all these big, fancy dining rooms and the chairs aren't up to scratch, but these are lovely. They're padded and they're tartan. You can't go wrong with a bit of tartan, can you? So yeah, the dining room is pretty splendid. I'd love to have a dinner party in here. Um, and it's nice to know that it, when you do come with your big party, if you do all want to eat together, there is a place to eat. So where are we gonna go now? So I've just come into what I would probably call the library room, and I think the owners call it that as well. It's kind of like a little snug, and it's actually joined onto a more formal sitting room. Look at all those books. If you're the type that's a bookworm, you could literally spend your whole break reading your way through all of these books. They're just incredible. Imagine it, the cosy fire blazing away, perhaps something on the TV, just quietly reading a book in the corner. There's a really nice mix of colours and textiles on the furniture. A mix of fabrics, tartans, leathers and some like jazzy cushions for a bit of contrast. So I really, really like the way that this place has been designed um, and whoever did the interior design has been really, really clever with their use of colour and print. Something that I myself notice. So I'd say this is the more kind of formal sitting room and it's absolutely beautiful. Again, all of the furniture is um, different but matches. Um, it's actually quite a hard thing to achieve is to get things that are different but they still match and um, they've done it really, really well here. The big chandelier lights are just stunning. See, it's all the details like that that just add to the luxury of this particular house. So if we continue on out back through the dining room, then we come to this kind of day room, which is set off the kitchen and this is probably where you would all come and eat your food together. We've got this beautiful kind of porched area here, which is letting in so much light and it just means that even if you're inside, you feel like you're outside, which is perfect in Scotland because sometimes the weather can be a little temperamental. One of my favourite features of this room is that it's got the window through to the kitchen so food can be passed through easily there. Now, the day room then leads onto the kitchen, which is a wonderful big kitchen. You are going to love it. Now, we do get a few of you um, calling up about holiday homes having agas, and if they have an aga, you are scared of it. Now, do not be scared of an aga. They are actually super to cook on, but for those of you that don't believe me, Far House also has a range master. Something for everybody. There's quite a lot of space in here. You've got this section over here with your sink and you've got a, oh, is that two dishwashers? But yep, you've got a dishwasher there. And I actually think you've got a dishwasher beside the sink there as well. And then you've got your two big fridges over there as well. So. The house is really set up with everything that you're going to need. So if we come out of the um, lovely smart drawing room, we come back to the corridor that we started at. So I'm going to come down here because there's two double bedrooms on the right hand side. So we're going into one of them now. So you'll be able to tell that everything is just beautiful like the rest of the house. We've got some gorgeous textiles. Um, that lovely floral print matching the headboard and the throws and that looks like a king size bed to me which is superb and the curtains match obviously and here 
we have the ensuite for this double bedroom. I have to just point out the floor here. Look at that. So we're going to carry on out to the last bedroom in this corridor. So it's another double bedroom. Lots and lots of space. There's a lovely colour theme going on here. So you kind of got greys and some duck egg blues in there and there's some grey and yellow curtains. Oh look at this lovely little dressing table set up. Isn't that sweet? Now this one has a really funky ensuite bathroom. Like, I love that it's just something that you don't expect. It's kind of graphite and mosaic and tiles and red and black and grey. Just really really funky and I'm liking this um, kind of scoop bath that looks really deep um, but especially like the glass sinks that have like goldfish so when you fill it with water it looks like there's goldfish swimming in there and then if you go like behind this corner you've got like a kind of open shower um, and then you've got another cool floor so that's pretty fun I'm liking that so then if we go back out here, you'll see a view of Far Garden Cottage there, which is another cottage you can rent along with this one or separate. So that's the bottom wing that we've just done. So we've just done this bit um, done. And then this door here, in fact, leads onto another studio called Loch Nest, but there are people in there at the moment, so I can't do a tour of it. But just so you know, there is a studio, one bed holiday cottage along there. Um, which can also be rented alongside or separate like the people in there at the moment have done. And so just thought I would add that in there, but I'm going to go back down this corridor through the dining room and the family eating room and then take you to the other wing of the house, which has six more bedrooms. taking you around all of the bedrooms in the house including the living spaces downstairs um, and there's loads of space each bedroom unbelievably has an ensuite which is amazing most of them have showers as well I think this might be my favorite bedroom I think I just like the combed ceilings I like the fact that it's a nice soft blue so now I've taken you around the inside of the house I am going to take you outside because I want to show you the surrounding area and the kind of layout because there's the Loch Nest and the Gardener's Cottage as well. So let's go down, see what we can find outside.
you enjoyed it. I think it's a fantastic house and perfect for that large family gathering. So if you are curious to find out more, the link to the house on our website, I'm gonna put below. There is also a blog link there to tell you more about the history because we have written a post specifically on Far House. If you have any questions, you can call us on 01738 451 610. We're also on Facebook, so please follow us there and also come on over and follow us on Instagram because you'll be able to keep an eye on what we're doing and all of our holiday cottage views. But until next time, 